Okay, so as I said, just threw the proof into the medial part of the thigh, and it appeared the central tendon. Okay? Here. It, it, it was broken, so let's see the other to see it correct. But just through the proof, and the central tendon appears here. You, can, you have an injury here also. <laughs> can you That's why me, I can, bought it. Can you bring me a normal model, please? Yeah. <laughs> so normally, you through the proof of the rectus femoral central tendon. So here you have the central tendon more proximal, so the injury was more distal. And this is the way they have to heal. Exactly <coughs> this way. That's not a soft scar. No. Absolutely not. This is a perfect scar. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's move up. You see the sartorius here. I need you to lay down. Okay, move up. Look how the central tendon is moving to that corner here. The sartorius is crossing with the vessels. The central tendon is located here in the corner, we're moving up. You see the shadow, the acoustic shadow of the anti tendon. We're still moving up and we see the anterior inferior iliac spine with this hand. Okay? We round the proof. You have another injury here. Stop making crossfit. <laughs> we rotate the proof um, in uh, longitudinal axis. We can assess here the direct tendon, and here the shadow of the direct tendon, and here something special, which could be a paralabral cyst of the hip. You see? <coughs> that round here structure. Okay, we'll see later. If you stay here, you can see in that point the anterior inferior iliac spine. We, you can say you can see the fibers of the iliacus muscle and also the psoas tendon. But we will see this here uh, just uh, in the next presentation. So we move down again. We find the shadow of the undirect tendon. We move lateral. We angulate the probe. Oh, you have you have a complete tear of the entire tendon. <laughs> <laughs> Who says that the, the ultrasound is not correct for CV? It's perfect. Yes, yes. Did you know that you have? I've never had one injury. I swear, like one time. It was a plain dodgeball, like a lot. It only takes one time. But I think <laughs> can you do all of this at once? Well, yeah, you, yeah, can, I think you can do a lot of it, things. Carlos, is what you technically call an explosion. Yeah. An explosion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just fluid field now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. But this is not a good scar. It's nothing there. It's nothing there. It's fluid. Yeah. Get the needle. <laughs> you have one. That's <laughs> <laughs> So. This should be uh, an indirect tendon, let's see the other one. Are there any fibers intact of the indirect? Sorry? Are there any of the yeah, fibers intact? Yeah, yeah, in yeah, yeah, there, there are fibers uh, yeah. completely intact. There, there's some, there. yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is the way you can see the indirect tendon. Okay, mm -hmm. this. But if you look far, look here. Yeah. Okay. In, in the most deeper, in the most deeper part in, of the undirect tendon, that's why I said it could be a paralabral uh, cyst. It is really attached to the capsule, as we said before. So we really don't know if this liquid came uh, come from the undirect tendon itself or it's coming from the hip joint. Okay, we are going to test it here later. So if we move a little bit distal here is where we can find the fluid of the conjoint tendon and just above here is where we can find the fluid of the superficial fascia injury. Okay, let's move down. You can see the central tendon, the scar of the central tendon. Moving down, rectus femoris, 
vastus lateralis, vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, and the femur here. Look, all the contributions of the vastus and the rectus femoris to the quadricipital tendon as much as we go distal. And now here we find flex a little bit. The quadricipital tendon and a little bit of liquid in the supra patellar recess.